CJ and all his infinite wisdom, I think he has me here for a reason. But he knows he needed somebody real regular. I used to work at the Cheesecake Factory five years ago. He's saying, yo, you can go from not speaking at all. You can start from a little idea with a t-shirt brand and be speaking with the biggest speaker in the country. I remember these days, man. This is the, the Cheesecake Factory Perimeter Mall that I worked three years. Out of my six years at the Cheesecake Factory, I worked three years at this one right here. Me and CJ, we have a mutual friend, DJ Infamous. We will always be over his house and see each other. And he had me, you know, he saw the Sleep is for Suckers brand because I would wear my shirts everywhere like I do now. One day he called me. Like, yo, I'm working with a guy, his name's Eric Thomas. Have you heard of him? I'm like, no. He said, well, um, he does videos every Monday, you know, motivational. I think your brand's message aligns with what he's talking about in his videos. I look him up and I began to binge watch his videos. I called CJ back like, yo, when can we link? I'm like, yo, see, you can have the shirts. I'm a fan at this point. It all started here where my journey of really being serious about the brand Sleep is for Suckers is when I met Eric Thomas. The first sign of success for me would have been if I get a new car. Like that was my that was my first major goal is to get a new car. I used to I used to drive around with gallons of water in my car because my car would always overheat and I have to pour water in the radiator. So I remember the, the day I was supposed to meet CJ, my car overheated and I had to pull over to the side of the road, pour water in the radiator. I made it to work. So CJ and his wife, they come sit in my section because I, I got the shirts in my car. I'm supposed to give it to him so he can wear them for ET's video. So when he first comes, I'm excited to see him because he introduced me to Eric Thomas's videos. Like my life changed forever. And I said, okay, let me go out to my car and get your shirt. So I walk out to the car and I'm thinking to myself, could this be the opportunity that allows me to get a new car? <laughs> not to quit my job, not to be successful. This could be it. Fast forward. I didn't know that that opportunity would allow me to get a new car. What if I didn't want a new car? What if I had just got a new car? I wouldn't be so excited about the opportunity. What if I didn't work at the Cheesecake Factory? What if I made $100,000 a year at my job instead of $27,000 at the Cheesecake Factory and I didn't start the clothing brand teaching people about the grind, teaching people about the struggle, teaching people, yo, you gotta, you gotta lose sleep to get what you want. What if I would have graduated college? Now I'm on stage with E.T. <laughs> yeah. I started to pick up the accent and I said, ooh, key to success. I understand if I get around broke people, I'll pick up the broke accent. If I get around rich people, I'll pick up the rich. I'm telling you, I was, I was fluent in all the shows that came on while I worked at the Cheesecake Factory. Got in a different environment where it's uncool to talk about TV, like it's uncool. I can't go to CJ House and we start talking about Empire. I'm trying to talk you guys out of entrepreneurship right now. If you're gonna leave it, leave it now. If, you, if any of this stuff makes you nervous, leave it now. The average millionaire is 62. 1% are under 35. So here's the crazy thing, Kansas. Do you know that some people are gonna quit not realizing it's not even necessarily in the cards. You ain't really been alive long enough to figure out how to make a million dollars. Like, you've been grinding for a year. You've been grinding for two years talking about why am I not a millionaire yet? Yo, only 1% are under 35. Give it some time. Write this down, tomorrow's coming.